These data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Hey, Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things? And where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Um, okay. Why can't they be- <laughs> Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. Zinyak doesn't have a chance. I got one, Kizzy. You sure this thing's safe? Safe ish. Just keep getting them. But when we get together, oh, I love this song. Kenzie! Kenzie, you gotta sing this with me. No, I don't think so. Come on, we can't even let you be the cat. <laughs> Not gonna happen. We come together, cut. Come on, now your turn. Come on, and you know it. It ain't fiction. Come on! Sing it! No. Kenzie, it's an order. I'm your president. Fuck that. See? See? This is why no one likes you. <laughs> All right, got another. Data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. How is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Holy shit, I actually kinda understand that. Ha! Ah, ah. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope, never mind, you're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Now we're talking the same language. So, three of these enough? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. Shouldn't have fucked with the president! So, if these data thingies... Ugh. Clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zinyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? Give his people a boost or something? I don't know. You're the one who says they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! But what about keeping us from... You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Shit! Zinyak destroyed my apartment? Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Condemned. Ugh. It's an ugly word. It had character. It should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. I want some real music. Oh, this feels awesome! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. What am I supposed to do in here? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? How in the hell am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. I can climb walls? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Same difference. the buildings apart. Try making that jump. I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Come on, you gotta be joking. Just try it. Yeah, that was fun, but I want something more challenging. Good, because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Perfect. See? You did it!
I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck! I wonder how Brad is taking me to dinner tonight. Why is all this stuff here, anyway? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. And that means something to me? It means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Sounds simple enough. It's it the first time I said it, too. You know I love Lies. Showing you some of that love. 